Hey, welcome to Nature Backyard, my YouTube channel where I try to tell you about all the things I'm interested in in terms of plants, edible primarily, but sometimes just really cool tropical, subtropical ones that I think have beautiful foliage and are interesting to look at. Okay, let's get started. In today's video, I want to share with you once again the status of my turkey, brown turkey fig tree. This is a fig tree which grows in the south. This is a fig tree which produces figs that taste like honey. I'm going to do something that's going to hurt the fig enthusiasts of the world. I'm going to pick off an unripened fig. Waste it. Going to no good. Look at it. <laughs> you can see in the video, it has this sap. Figs have this unique thing. It produces this white sap. Very sticky, almost like a glue. It comes out, but this is May. Now, this is about what the fig looks like this time of year. It's uh, very small, very hard but uh, it will grow dramatically over the next couple of weeks and I'll probably be having a bumper crop of figs. And you can focus in on the inside of this tree. Every one of these branches, and I'll tell you why there's so many little small branches here, but every one of these branches has got one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven, eight different figs on it. You can imagine how many little branches there are in here, hundreds, 200 maybe, times, eight figs each. We're talking about a lot of figs, so a lot of them are going to wind up on the ground, but I'm going to try to pick as many as I can. The birds will take theirs and the squirrels will take the rest, but this tree is a producer, and the reason it's a producer is it's grown for about 15 years in my yard. Oh look, it's a butterfly. It's, uh, it's grown for about 15 years, and I've trimmed it like crazy. I planted it in one of the worst possible places. This thing can get about 15 feet tall, and I planted it under a power line that's about 15 feet tall. I don't recommend that. But what I've committed to is to trim it every winter when all the leaves fall off. Deciduous tree. Uh, and the leaves fall off every winter. And uh, when that happens, I trim it back. Radical trimming of fig trees, not recommended. They don't like that at all. They don't really heal up in a knuckle on a, on a trim where you trim it. So. You want to get them when they're smaller branches like this, you know, maybe no, no bigger than a finger size branch is probably about the best if you have to, you know, maybe about a little bigger uh, would be okay, hot dog size diameter, but you don't want to go much bigger than that because it really is a hard time healing that, that wound. But that's what I've done to this. Every year I keep a trim low and wide. So now you can see how high I can put my hand. I can reach it all, almost. You know, I don't have to go climbing up to, to deal with it, and that's good. I just promoted its wide growth rather than its upward growth, and that's a great, great strategy. You know, any taller, and it's up in the power lines, and I don't want to get electrocuted by 220 volts of electricity to eat a fig. Probably won't either. So, anyway, that's my brown turkey fig tree. Oh, man, I can't wait until these come in. And when they do, I'll show you a little video of picking them and what the fruit looks like. Super high-quality fig tree. <laughs> just amazing. The, the fruit tastes like like brown sugar and honey is probably how I describe it. Just so good. Uh, one other thing I, I'll tell you about fig trees in general that I think is so cool is that the, the branches are really rubbery. I mean, you can push this all the way down right back up. Really rubbery. They don't snap easily at all. They're incredibly strong. You can bend these branches almost down to the ground and they just come right back up. Now, of course, there's a point where it's going to snap, but really flexible. So you can play with that. If you want to shape it, you know, you can tie these down. You can shape them to however you want. You leave them like that for a year or so, and they're going to maintain that, that direction. So you can really get creative with how you want this tree to look. I've done it through primarily trimming, but you can also tie them to shape them. Another thing is these, these leaves are like, almost have a fuzz. They have a weird fuzz. If you go backwards, like a shark skin, it, it resists going backwards. Go forward, you can go right down. But uh, they're really super fuzzy, and of course they've got that you know, classic fig leaf look. And it's kind of an interesting smell too. I love the smell of a fig tree with the beautiful veins and the leaves. And uh, now, uh, in Florida, this is the area of Florida I'm in. Every year, towards late season, it gets these little black dots all over it. It's like a type of rust or fungus that grows on it. I know people who treat it with all kinds of uh, different chemicals to deal with that. But you know what? It's not worth it to me. I just let the leaves fall on the ground and I don't even uh, think twice about it because next year they're going to get a whole new batch. It doesn't affect the fruit, so don't sweat it. You know, let's not spend too much time getting uh, crazy about, <laughs> about having fruit trees. Uh, for me, that takes out the fun. I know for others it doesn't, but for me, I, I want to eat the fruit and I don't want to go too far and have to be constantly maintaining them and make the perfect tree. I just want great fruit. 
and move on to the next tree because I've always got something in my yard that is completely going off with fruit year round. So I don't want to spend time on any one thing. I just want a little bit of maintenance and it's fun trimming this. It's like trimming a bonsai tree that's really big, if that makes any sense. Anyhow, okay. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like it. If you didn't like it, well, forget to don't like it. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to Eat Your Backyard. Thank you for watching.